If you just pay attention to how the uh, PLC code is executing, then it will show the way the scan sequence is actually operating. You just have to be methodical in thinking about like how things are executing and what's executing before another thing. And you may have to play around putting timers with one shots on stuff to be able to make sure that it's executing the way that you think it is. Because I've ran through times in programming code where maybe I'll put a timer on something and you'll notice that that piece of logic is not actually firing one time, but it's actually firing like six times. But to on your graphical interface, it's only showing one time firing. So, you know, something like a, a an add function or a timer could be very good for doing a troubleshooting. So it looks like it performs the exact same way. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch back to programming. Go ahead and delete this right here. Let's go ahead and add in one more. Um, we'll do the output of the previous timer again. And just see if any of our functionality changes. Run on device. Okay. Come back up here. Gotta make it go true again. So it looks like it has no impact on the scan sequence. That's just something to notate, something to keep in mind that you're able to go about this route. So if you wanted to program this with this type of structure right here, which is more ladder logic-y versus this method right here, which is more function block-y. And you know, a method like this might be good for like if you're doing a particular function and you want to keep that function kind of encapsulated and, and kind of demonstrate that, hey, all this programming logic goes together.